Russia sent 10,000 migrants to the front in Ukraine. Russia has sent about 10,000 immigrants who recently obtained citizenship to the front lines in Ukraine following increased efforts to enforce compulsory military registration among its new citizens, according to the head of the Russian Investigative Committee, Alexander Bastrykin. He said that investigators have already registered over 30,000 such citizens who received citizenship but do not wish to register for military service. About 10,000 of them have already been sent to the zone of the special military operation, Bastrykin said, using the common Russian official terminology for describing the war. He also reported that these immigrants were supposedly sent to serve in rear units engaged in the construction of fortifications. The Russian authorities have sought to avoid a second wave of unpopular mobilization after the draft of 300,000 Russians in September 2022 sparked panic and a mass exodus from the country. Instead, they have tried to attract people to the army with lucrative contracts. Additionally, Russia has intensified the recruitment of mercenaries in global south countries. Russia offers a registration bonus of $2,000 and monthly salary of $2,200 and the promise of obtaining a Russian passport. Main Directorate of Intelligence of Ukraine reported that Russia has ramped up efforts to recruit Africans to participate in the fighting in Ukraine. These recruitment efforts are particularly focused on the Central African countries of Rwanda, Burundi, Congo and Uganda. According to British intelligence, this recruitment campaign is intended to compensate for the significant losses of the Russian army on the battlefield and to sustain offensive activities on several fronts, as the limited pool of prisoners available for recruitment in Russia has been exhausted. Russia is likely expanding recruitment to the global south to avoid additional mobilization within Russia. Russia has sought to replenish its military ranks through other means, including the recruitment of migrants and new Russian citizens, likely hoping to avoid changing the rules on conscript deployment or a repeat of the unpopular mobilization drive in the fall of 2022. Migrant workers have also been sent to occupied parts of Ukraine ostensibly for construction work. However, after they arrive, reports allege that their passports are confiscated and they are pressured to go and fight. Russia has also attempted to recruit foreigners directly from countries in the surrounding region such as Kazakhstan or Armenia. At least 10 people were killed and scores injured in gunfire during tax protests in Kenya's capital Nairobi. The police clashed with hundreds of demonstrators seeking to prevent the passage of a bill that would raise a number of taxes. Kenyan protesters breached parliament barricades and entered the complex where lawmakers were debating contentious tax hike proposals that have sparked widespread anger, AFP journalists saw, as police fired live bullets. Hundreds of protesters broke through barriers erected by the police outside parliament in the capital Nairobi, with police firing live rounds and leaving many wounded, according to Amnesty International Kenya. Protests forced President William Ruto on Sunday to express his readiness to engage in dialogue with demonstrators led by a youth group. Ruto hailed the youth for speaking out on political issues that affect them while attending a church service in Nyahuru, central Kenya. The president said, Our young people have stepped forward to engage in the affairs of their country. They have done a democratic duty to stand and be recognized, and I want to tell you that we are going to have a conversation with you to identify your concerns and work together as a nation. Amendments to the bill look set to be approved but some of the controversial provisions initially put forward included a plan to introduce a 16% sales tax on bread and 25% duty on cooking oil. There was also a planned increase in the tax on financial transactions as well as a new annual tax on vehicle ownership amounting to 2.5% of the value of the vehicle. The government said it was dropping these measures amid a public outcry. Kenyans are protesting over a new finance bill that introduces unpopular tax proposals that have drawn a lot of anger across the nation. Yes, I mean. Yes, I mean.